You wake up in 2030. The first thing you do isn't stretch, meditate, or even get out of bed. You grab your phone. But this time, it's not just Instagram or TikTok. It's something far more addictive, immersive, and inescapable. Sound like a Black Mirror episode. It's the terrifyingly real future of content addiction, and it's already happening. Before we talk about where we're heading, let's rewind to where it all started. When Steve Jobs rolled out the first iPhone back in 2007, there really wasn't much you could do with it. You could send a text to your friends, make a call when you needed to, or maybe play a game of chess if that was your thing. Back when people actually looked at their food before eating it, instead of spending five minutes finding the right angle. Fast forward to today, and it's become a monster. A never-ending scroll of dopamine hits. Algorithms now know you better than your closest friends, and they don't care about your well-being. They only care about one thing, keeping you hooked. Think about it. A decade ago, we had basic notifications. Now, we've got endless short videos, personalized feeds, and even AI creating content so addictive it feels like it was made just for you. And let's not even talk about the metaverse or VR. It's designed to blur the lines between reality and the digital world. Scary, right? But the real danger isn't just wasted time. How often do you leave your phone and feel bored, anxious, or even lost? It's what content addiction is stealing from us. Our lives. That's because constant scrolling isn't just a habit. It's rewiring your brain, making real life feel dull. Every minute you spend lost in content, you lose moments you can't get back. Friendships fade, goals get delayed, and before you know it, the best years of your life are gone. Depressing? Depressing? But it doesn't have to be this way. If we look back to the early days of technology, phones weren't the enemy. They were tools. Tools to connect, create, and even escape. The problem isn't the device in your hand. It's how it's designed and how you use it. It all starts with one decision. To stop being the product and start living intentionally. That means setting boundaries, cutting down on mindless scrolling, and asking yourself a powerful question. What do I really want to do with my time? And no, I'm not saying quit everything and live in a cave. But here's what most people miss and it's something you need to hear. Breaking free from content addiction isn't just about escaping the trap. It's about rediscovering what life can actually feel like. Imagine waking up with focus, spending your time creating instead of consuming, feeling fulfilled instead of restless. And here's what most people don't realize. The future isn't written yet. Yes, content addiction is growing, but you don't have to follow the crowd. You can choose to live differently. You can choose real life. So what's it gonna be? Will you keep letting algorithms run your life or are you ready to take back control? If you're in your 20s, you gotta check out this video. The end screen is up now, go check it out. Trust me, your future self will be grateful.